Time comes as a most grievous blow. Were Rosaria to invade, the battle would be hard fought. Had Lord Vane not deployed the fleet so capriciously, we would not now find ourselves in such perilous circumstance. Lord Vane shall be made to answer for his actions. It is the will of the Senate. Excellency, though he be your son, justice must be served. A convenient thing, justice. And so I must now make a choice between my throne and my son. A most lamentable situation for us all. Oh? For Lord Vane, perhaps. Yet surely Lord Lhasa will make for a fine emperor. Lhasa so adores his brother, and he is yet young. But he will not remain young forever. Already he busies himself unraveling Lord Vane's tangled skein. Lord Larsa has found his role to play and pursues it with some enthusiasm. Ah, yes. And who would set him at such tasks? What matter? Lord Vane himself once saw his elder brothers brought to like justice, did he not? At your Excellency's behest, as I recall. <coughs> <coughs> You may put yourself at ease, Lord Gramis. So long as the Senate watches over her, Arcadia's well-being will ever be ensured. By your will, I shall bid Vane return to Arcades. So, it was the Dawn Shard that brought down the Imperial fleet. You know your stuff. Destructive power of such force. I've seen it once before. Lady Ash, you know of what I speak. Nabudis. The capital of Old Nebradia, Lord Rassler's fatherland. At the time of the invasion, a division of Imperials entered the city. There was a mighty explosion. Friend and foe died alike. Something was there. One of the Dynast King's relics. The Midlight Shard was in Nebradia. More Nethercide. Well, no wonder they invaded. That ridiculous war. The trap at the treaty signing. All this because Vane wanted power. He must not be allowed to claim the Nethercide. The Empire must never hold it. Oh, they already do. The Dusk Shard, most likely the Midlight Shard, too. Besides, can't they manufacture Nethersite now? Very well. Then the path set before us is clear. We'll use the Dawn Shard to fight them. Dalmasca does not forget kindness, nor ill deed done. With sword in hand, she aids her allies. Sword in hand, she lays to rest her foes. This Nethersite, I hope, must be my sword. I will avenge those who have died, and the Empire will know remorse. You even know how to use it? I... <laughs> the Gareth may know. The Gareth people live by the old ways. 
Matricide lore is a part of their culture. They may hear it. The cry of the Nethersite's power. Whispers of the stone's menace. Dangerous though it be, what we need now is power. Should we declare Dalmasca free without the means to defend our claim, the Empire would crush us. You must take me to meet with the Gareth. They live beyond Osman Plain. Not exactly close. Compensation, is that what you want? Straight to the point, aren't we? I like that. Compensation? How about the ring? This? Isn't there something else? No one's forcing you. <laughs> I'll give it back to you as soon as I find something more valuable. What do you mean, something more valuable? Hard to say. I'll know when I find it. What is it you want, Vaughn? What are you looking for? Me? What am I looking for? I... I guess... Well, I... Uh, you know... The Gareth are said to dwell in Kirwan. So they do. We'll need to head south, past the Giza Plains. It is the rains now in Giza. The Waris will be swollen with the Deluge. Passage may be difficult. But those same waters may also lay open new routes to us. Regardless, we must go south, yes? First things first. You're eager to be on your way, I know. But we should see that we're prepared before setting out. I made my resolve two years ago. I swore to overcome any hardship I may face. Man cannot live by resolve alone, Princess. Alright, everybody. I'm gonna stop here, and I will see you all shortly. Bye-bye.